How would you describe your character in Thelma and Louise? <laughs> just a guy. <laughs> you know, he's a survivor. Just a guy surviving on the road, you know? You do what you have to do to survive. It's just the way of the world. That's him. Good guy, though. I'm very, uh, just very nonchalant. During the shooting, did you already realize that the main characters of the movie uh, would seem uh, mean, cheap? Uh, no, I, I, see, I never saw it that way. There was a big thing in the States about that. I didn't see it that way. I thought it was funny. You know, I mean, we deserve a kick in the ass, you know? That's all it is. So you didn't suspect no, that it was going to be no, controversial? No, not at all, but... Seems like people always have to have something to argue about, you know? <laughs> so women were, like, thinking it was pro-lib, you know? And men were thinking it was anti-men. It was none of that, you know? So, none of that. I just thought they should all relax. Because you're just watching people, not men or women, people in a certain situation. It seems to have been a pleasant shooting. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, we're on the road, you know? In these beautiful locations, it's like a road trip. It's fantastic. Did I, you? I didn't work that much, you know? I only worked like a month on it. They were almost three months. Did you have the opportunity to, to watch Susan and uh, oh, Gina working of together? I snuck looks in whenever I could get them. How did they work together? How did they establish that fine chemistry? I don't know, you know? It's something it's either there or it's not. They were just bam, 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 right off each other. And Ridley was really good with them. They were, see, I don't know. I wasn't there enough, but uh, I liked watching the three of them together, do you know? Because there was something going on all around, all the time. It's just my opinion. But did they rehearse uh, between themselves or with Ridley? Uh, both, I think, yeah. In more generally, really, uh, does Ridley uh, rehearse a lot with uh, the actors? Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does. And, uh, he always wants you to get something different. You know, when you film a scene, you film it one way, and then he wants to try something else. And to me, that's very smart. Because then when you go back to edit the film, you can pick out the best one that tells the puzzle. Do you know? Tells the story. Would you say his way of uh, directing a film uh, is different from uh, the, the way of an American director? Mm. They're all different. I don't think it's so much American versus European. They all just have their own style. You know? But being a British director, I often think that uh, non-American directors see the American landscapes uh, a oh, different Oh, yeah, now I gotta tell you, I was, there's something to that, you know? A European being able to, p to pick out all these American uh, little items, you know? Because he filled the frame, every frame, with little bits of America. It was brilliant, where, if it was American, maybe we would have overlooked some of these things, you know? But because he came to check it out and then made a note. It was really funny. He took a, uh, when I was there, for the short time I was there, I, I remember him taking a lot of time to fill the background scene with American life, mid-America. Right. <laughs>